in a village some of the goldsmiths are literates which diagram shows literate goldsmiths now you know that goldsmith is you know it's like a profession right i mean uh, and in literate again you know is you know people can i mean one can either be a literate or an illiterate so basically he says in a village some of the goldsmiths are literates which diagram shows literate goldsmiths so some of the goldsmiths are literates now you just try to go by that statement right some a's are b's some goldsmiths are literates how do you represent some goldsmiths are literates goldsmiths are literates some of them are literates this this common region uh, represents those goldsmiths which are literates right these who are outside are only goldsmiths these are not literates right and these uh, in in this section are literates which are not goldsmiths all right so the diagram that correctly represents this is option two so if you study the other options option one has got no overlapping between goldsmiths and literates so this shows that no goldsmith is illiterate which is wrong here they're just touching externally which is like as good as the first one right here also in fact it shows that no goldsmith is a literate so this also is wrong the fourth diagram shows that all the literates are goldsmiths right all the literates are goldsmiths but not all the literates are goldsmiths i mean this is not definite this is not definite not definite that all the literates are goldsmiths what we only know is some of the goldsmiths are literates if some goldsmiths are literates some literates are goldsmiths that is definitely sure i mean that is for definite but all the literates being goldsmiths is just a possibility and not a definite conclusion so this also gets eliminated anyways the answer is option two which of the answer figure best represents the relationship between shirts, garments and clothes? Now, these are questions based on Venn diagrams. So, you have to identify, you have to kind of understand which, which is a subset of which one. And based on that, find out the figure. Right? Find out the right figure. So, which answer figure best represents the relationship between shirt, garment and clothes? Now, understand, you have to understand, get the category. Shirt is a type of garment. Right? And garment is a category in clothes you understand shirt belongs to garments and garments belong to clothes right that way you can say that shirt is also a cloth of course because shirt is in garments and garment is inside clothes see all the shirts are garments but not all the garments are shirts similarly all the garments are clothes but not all the clothes are garments like say for example a piece of cloth which is used for cleaning is also a, in that category but is it a garment no garments is what we wear right a piece of cloth or a dusting cloth is not a garment but then it is a category in uh, it is a part of clothes so the point is all the shirts are garments but not all the garments are clothes all the garments are clothes uh, sorry all the shirts are garments but not all the garments are shirts similarly all the garments are clothes but not all the clothes are garments so shirt is a subset of garments and garments is a subset of clothes so option one has to be the answer undoubtedly right so if you say option two you are saying that like for example if you consider this as shirts you're saying some shirts are not garments how is it possible all the shirts are garments this says some shirts are not garments right similarly this option four says shirts garments and clothes have got no relationship at all no they have got relationship they are related to each other then what is this you know shirts and garments are disjoint inside clothes or shirts and clothes are disjoint inside garments or garments and clothes are disjoint inside the shirts all those three are not valid so option one is the answer 